I love to play video games. Oh sh Here we go again. They define my life so much that I cannot imagine a life without games. But sometimes, things just do not go as you want them to. I have a decent gaming PC. And I love it more than my probable girlfriend. Although it doesn't have the latest and greatest components, I've been working on this setup for over 2 years at this point. If you follow me over on Twitter, you might know that I had my undergraduate entrance exam earlier this week. And this brilliant mess of RGB was attracting quite a few balls to it. At times, you just want that filthy, quiet and stealthy gaming PC that no one can imagine can even game. That was the time I knew I had to build a sleeper PC. Something so old school that might even escape a robber size. Actually, that was for real. One of my friends had a potato PC. His entire house got robbed but the robbers just ignored his PC. And his PC probably had the most expensive things in his room. <laughs> so today we have a special guest with us, a 13 year old computer case with complete Windows XP glory. And she a beauty. We have the exact amount of filth and almost non-existent LEDs. I want to make this look as authentic as possible. So that means not a single touch to this case. Whose idea was this? I don't know. Your mom won't disturb your gaming stations though. Okay, let's turn this upside down. Oh, oh my gosh, what was that? What is that? What is this? Oh, I think it's a disc reader. Disc reader? We should keep this in the final build, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. See that? That needs a SATA 1 cable. Got it. Here we go. It's perfect. Okay, I'm done. Here ends the scripted part of this video. Now, screw this laptop. Man, go to duo. This is perfect. I think this chassis is from Eyeball. Yeah, it still has a sticker lying around. Hey, this is an AMATX case, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Don't you think my new motherboard is ATX? That means I'll need an AMATX motherboard after this. Got the same ATX board, time to put it in. Okay, day 2 and this is the change of dress and here I've put this Cooler Master MWE 550W power supply and this thing is an absolute chungus. This case may be 13 years old but look at how good the power supply just fits. That is when you come to know how many things have not evolved in these long years. We will trust the MSI GTI 1650 Ventus Axis into the build and it looks awesome. And there we go, the only available RGB parts in this build are the RAM modules. And we put this panel in and boom, no RGB. Now although you may have some good 2000s flashback while gaming on this thing, it is terrible in terms of airflow. And that is why, hold on a second, I have custom 3D printed an air loop. Yeah, it actually looks kind of awkward but... This will suck out all the air from the CPU cooler and just throw it out of the case. This thing still has nothing in terms of airflow and these 80mm fans are a relic these days. They cost so high that you can just pass without buying them. At least that's what I did. 
And coming to the GPU, oh, I think this is going to be a problem. Will it be the burning castle of the hell? Will I see flames coming out of this build? And pop it goes You know what? Just, just screw this side panel. Let's maximize airflow. Time to play some games and record the temps. Let's see how much of a problem this case can be. Remember, all these temps will be with the side panel off. First up, we have Gore Doom. We get 68 degrees on the GPU and 71 degrees on the CPU. Not shabby at all. Next up in my favorite game, Forza Horizon 4, we are at 67 and 55 degrees. Those are very good temps. Next up in another great game, Assassin's Creed Origins, we get 65 and 75 degrees. Okay, but the CPU temps are a bit on the higher side though. In Red Dead 2, we get 64 and 65 degrees on average. Those are great as well. Now some of you might yell, where are the stress test results? Hold on, I got you. In Ida 64 Extreme, we made a run of 5 minutes and the temperatures top out at 69 degrees Celsius. Nice! And in Furmark, which is a GPU stress test, we made a run of 5 minutes and the temperatures of the GPU topped out at 69 degrees Celsius. Nice! What is wrong? <laughs> Now, after we have seen everything in the video, the question is whether you should build a sleeper PC. Well, for the free tech tip of the day, you should not. Because some of these old cases do not even have proper airflow. I use some old and not so great components in here. They are 13 years old. Something properly old school will be over 20 years old. The thermals will be even worse in them. You absolutely don't want that. Unless you are very hot. Also, these PC cases are only available over at OLX or eBay and some of them come so filthy that you won't absolutely love the cleaning experience. Although cleaning PCs is a thing, but why should you clean your brand new gaming PC? Does that even make sense? Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, get down there and do like this video. It really helps out. Also, if you finally decided to buy an old case and you really want to clean it, do check out the tutorial here. Actually, that was quite fun.